Hello, Leo. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your September 2017. How do they feel about you? Love reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If this reading resonates for you, that's great. If you need more clarity, go to my About section on my YouTube channel. Down at the bottom, you can click Book a Reading, and that will take you right to my page so that you can go ahead and book a reading to get more information. This reading will be for singles and those of you who have someone else across the board, whatever that relationship is. Um, if you are single and you have no one on your mind and there's no one in your life, this could be about friends or family. If it's not about friends or family and there's no one else, then I would just refer you to listen to my love readings. Uh, they're general love readings to see if anyone could be possibly coming in for you. Or, of course, you could always request a personal reading to find that out. Okay, Leo, so we'll get started on your reading here. So in the position of what this person may be telling you, they enjoy spending time with you. Okay, or what they could be telling you coming up soon. They enjoy when you're together, there's like this blissful type of energy. It's clarified by the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's a one-sided energy to this where someone is giving more than receiving. Okay. So they could be expressing that to you. They could be texting you or emailing or talking on the phone or talking face-to-face. -face. This is about messages or, you know, communication. So you may receive communication from someone that, you know, I have to say, I, I, let me just stop for a second here and just go down to how this person feels about you, which could make more sense why this energy is playing out here. This person feels that there's a codependency issue within you, that you are giving more than you have received, okay? And they don't feel like... The justice card is in the reverse, so I feel like it's off balance. Things are off balance. They feel, or they are very codependent on you, and they can't live without you, and it sets this vibration of the scales being tipped too much to one side, which is very similar to the Six of Pentacles, okay? I often feel like this card, when it's in the reverse, can be about codependency as well, okay? Because when it's in the upright, this is about equal giving and taking, reciprocity, okay? Um, so you could see, look at these hands. Let's put it this way, right? This person is placing pinnacle in their hand. Receiving is also a form of giving, okay? Because when you're willing to receive something from someone, you're giving them the opportunity to be available to them, okay? So there's reciprocity in the upright but when it's in the reverse you know it's like this person tries to give right but the coin could easily slip out and this person here is always trying and then the coins slip out here you know it's not an even balance there's not a reciprocity there's this sense where um, even in this even in depicted this way in the reverse these coins are in their hand, but they're going to fall out. And this person just keeps giving, just keeps trying to give. But it's never enough. These coins fall out, and then they, and they give more. And then these drop down, and then they give more, right? So I just feel like what's happening here is there, there's some type of codependency issue going on here. Where one person is relying too much on the other. And this the partner you're dealing with could be feeling this way about you, that you're very reliant on them. Sorry, I got to fix this really quick. My apologies. That you are either very reliant on them or very dependent on them, yet there's a part of them that enjoys the time that you are together. And if they're not with you at the moment or there's a reason why you can't be together, they're still grateful for that time that you have together. Okay, and they express that to you, but they don't feel like if you're not together, they're going to fall to pieces, but they feel that you feel that way. Okay, uh, 
which can be a tough, my message, the last couple of readings I did, the messages are coming out pretty raw, pretty hardcore. So, you know, if this resonates for you in one way, you know, that's great. But some, I know, I do know that like sometimes you guys will leave me a comment and say, you're right. I've been giving and giving and giving and getting nothing in return. So it's like, maybe take a look at that. If you feel that that's what's happening to you, like if you acknowledge the fact that that is something you've been doing, that you've been giving way too much uh, in a relationship, you're not getting the same amount back. Well, maybe what you are getting back is it really is enough, but you're the one who's giving too much and expecting too much in return. Okay. And maybe the relationship really is okay. Um, it's just that, you know, sometimes there are expectations high expectations because you know you are someone who gives and gives and gives and gives and doesn't stop giving and you even when you have nothing left to give you still find ways to to give because you're very supportive but this person feels like you're over giving over sharing it's too much and you may be unhappy because they're not able to bring that back but they might not have an issue going on like that they may just know when it's time to give and when it's time to not give right that reciprocity again sometimes you know reciprocity as i was saying is not only about giving but it's also about receiving so maybe it's maybe it's time if you stop giving so much then you'll start receiving what it is that you want so the position of what's going on in their thoughts the situation is calling them to have faith in this relationship so they have trust however the King of Cups is in the reverse here. So that could be their energy. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But when the King of Cups is in the reverse, um, I actually feel this is more uh, along the lines of how they think of you. When the King of Cups is in the reverse, male or female, that the King of Cups is very clingy and very emotional, overly emotional, and can be overly possessive or overly jealous or envious, overprotective, um, that kind of energy. They're trusting, they trust in you anyway. They care about you anyway. Um, and they trust that your intentions are true and your intentions are good, even if you are coming off as your over caretaking and things like that okay so it's not as if like they are because they are expressing to you that they do and really truly enjoy the time together it's blissful energy when you're with each other i think it's that time period when you're not together that you you start losing your marbles or something or you're wondering what they're up to or you're wondering where they're going or who they're with and that's when your energy even though you're not a water sign you could still th this is how they're seeing you when the king of cups is in the reverse so they're viewing you in their thoughts when they think of you as you know they may be taking breaks a lot from the relationship because they need breathing room okay um the position of their behavior for them this is a true love relationship a true love situation they do have true love this is this is very romantic they feel you know they they're not they're not like stupid they can see that your giving is because you know you truly care they can see that I feel like they just want to express to you that maybe it's a little too much you know it's it's kind of like saying all right for those of you who celebrate Christmas or or your birthday so birthdays come once a year and when it comes we appreciate them so much and the time that people give to us because it's our special day but imagine if it was your birthday every single day you would start taking advantage of those gifts you wouldn't you wouldn't you'd have an expectation for those gifts to constantly be coming every day and if they don't come one day then you you're depressed or distraught because you're not getting them okay even though the people that are giving them to you are expressing their love every single day, it's not necessary, you know, because when someone truly loves you, you feel that. And when they, when they feel that way, you know, it's, I don't, I'm just of the, and just coming from the place of, of my thinking is that, uh, 
telling someone every single day that you love them. I mean, it, sometimes you get into habits of that. Like when you hang up the phone, you say it before you hang up. Um, but the thing is, it's the love is but the true essence of, of, you know, what you're truly feeling. And I feel like this person, they do have true love for you. They, they, they may not need to tell you this every single day because they don't feel they need to. They feel like if they're expressing it, then hopefully you would know. But the page of wands is in reverse. So they may be taking, um, they may, their behavior is that they may be pulling back on expressing. And I feel like if they are doing that or expressing how they feel to you, it's because there's no room for them to do that because you perhaps are always taking over th that area where you are constantly, you know, filling that balloon up where there's no room left for more air. There's no space left for reciprocity, okay? Because if one person is constantly giving and giving and giving, you know, it, it leaves... It's, it's a smothering behavior, so it leaves the other person with an inability to express it back, right? It's kind of, it's, it's like a psychological thing. It's kind of confusing, I think, but you Leos are very smart, and I, I think if this resonates for you, then you do truly understand what I mean by this. Sometimes my messages come out, and I have trouble articulating what, I, what I'm trying to say, but I'm hoping that you'll get it. So the Page of Wands is just, in the reverse, a lack of messages coming through. Okay, they have this, they behave in a way that they do love you and do care, but they're not overabundant with those messages with you, perhaps as much as you are with them. But it doesn't mean that they don't care. Okay, or it doesn't mean that their love style, if it's different from yours or the way they behave in the love style, it doesn't mean that they don't care. Right? Some people express their love in many different ways. It's, it's a matter of being able to see that, to really see it. Now, the position of what's external to them and you, both of you, their life is calling for them to keep an open mind. And as I was saying, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Okay, so keep an open mind to that for you because you are external to them. That the way they express their love and the way they are in the relationship is different than yours. And your expectations are different, okay? It's kind of like you know, this is a soulmate energy that's happening here. And when I say soulmate energy, what I'm, what I'm feeling is that this is a learning lesson with this person or whom, or this experience that you're having. Okay. Um, and the six of cups is clarifying this. Okay. So this is kindness. This is someone from your past that you could be dealing with. Um, but this is this is absolute like look at this these two people these children their love is is like this where they just enjoy like that blissful energy together they're flying a kite that's the best that they've got for the day and it's simple and it's sweet and it's innocent okay and that's the love there not the expectation it's thinking about remember when you were a child and the joy that you found and even the simplest things so it's trying to bring yourself back into that energy of you know as adults we take love for granted we take relationships for granted so it's their energy that they're expressing that's external to them is this okay simple innocent joyful times together that's what they are about and they want you for to express this yourself or to be on that you know and you want to too you know you want to you want to just enjoy those blissful moments because it's those blissful moments they're few and far between I mean when when I was a child I didn't fly a kite every single day it was usually when we went to the beach which was just in the summer and those memories of flying a kite at the beach are more prevalent in my mind if I had done it every day I probably really wouldn't remember too much about it because it became so so rote. Now, in the position of what uh, the outcome, it's the very soon card. So it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So between the two of you, there's some kind of a decision that needs to be made, okay, about this relationship to decide what will work for you and what will not work for you. The Knight of Cups is in the reverse. 
Now, I feel like the Knight of Cups, in the reverse, it's like the love wants to be expressed. Please donate. Please donate for me to get a new camera. I would really appreciate that. I'm just kidding. You don't have to. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Let me try to th let me try to figure out the best way to because a lot of people think like oh the Knight of Cups is in the reverse someone's not offering me their love you know that kind of stuff and it it doesn't always go that route and and sometimes it can mean different things depending on the card it's attached to um, so I, I the reverse Knight I kind of feel like is saying you know it's still a, pos a positive card to get as far as love goes it can mean that you this person very soon may sweep you off your feet and you may allow yourself to be swept off your feet by their love instead of but because you've lowered your expectations okay but it's also talking about giving yourself time to adjust to perhaps changes if you listen to this reading maybe there will be like changes that both of you will need to go through um, I'm just thinking let me see what else I can if I can get another read on this card there is a sense that there can be like a feeling of being overwhelmed by any demands in this relationship okay but I feel like it can be worked out I really do to really just explore and share your feelings ex explore express to the other person why you do what you do allow them to express why they do what they do what what the difference is their love style versus yours okay um, and pay attention to the signals they're giving out or the things that they are saying okay um, if they feel overwhelmed at this time I feel like they're close enough to you that they could share that with you without you getting uh, taking offense to that and that could be you know maybe a conversation that will come out and I, f I do feel like you may take a look at that and say I feel like this person really cares enough about you um, I don't really feel like they're a taker I just feel like they care enough about you to say to you you know let's uh, right now uh, they're not going to be overwhelmingly offering their love the love is still there but they are going th there uh, some kind of a decision or discussion needs to be worked out things need to be ironed out in the relationship and I feel like that's what this energy is really about from them that they want to continue to make things work but there needs to be like a serious revelation about the relationship or else I do feel like if 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 there's a sense that they feel that you're smothering them they could decide to put an end to the relationship and to just stop working things out um, so it's really up to you to keep an open mind about what it is they may have to say or what they may have to share with you and try to keep the energy light and fun and innocent and lower the expectations even if you're single and there's someone that you're interested in you know if you want them to come to you over giving if you're constantly sending them flowers if you're a male or constantly calling if you're a male or constantly texting if you're a male it's like over to it's too much right to try to find that balance okay um, in the situation and and if you're female and there's someone that you're interested in you know allow them to give to you because again as I said it's about reciprocity allow them allow someone to uh, allow yourself to receive okay if they haven't made a move yet you don't have to chase anyone down of course you want to remain open to uh, to being available but allow yourself if if they come forward in some way to receive what they have to offer okay Leo so that was your message for September again if you need a personal reading go to my about section here on my channel scroll down to the bottom click book a reading and then I will get your reading to you within seven days okay take care